Let's try this together. This is audio notes, and as the name implies, you can record your own audio like we are doing now, but you can also send recordings to be transcribed by the app. And you can organize all those files using folders or tags. But there is more. There are some pretty cool integrations here. You can, for example, send uh, WhatsApp audios to be transcribed by audio notes. We'll get there. Let's start from the beginning, from this note. Wow, this looks pretty cool. And as you can see, we can add tags and choose a folder from here. We can even delete the recording. But let's go to the folder tab to see what else we can do with this transcription. Okay, let's start by creating a tag here. AI, add tag, I'm gonna select you. Okay, let's also create a folder. For example, this is YouTube for my YouTube videos. Maybe red, all. Add to folder. Let's choose YouTube. Okay. Okay, now let's go to this note here. From here, we can download the audio, regenerate it. We can even edit the text, copy the text. There's a lot that we can do here. We can see the transcript, content. Mm, I really want to try this. Uh, let's create here a tweet. Because as you know, when I record a video, I have to promote that video. So let's see. Wow, <laughs> this is pretty cool. Introducing audio notes. So there are many options here. Say hello to seamless audio. Okay, I like this. There's also this feature here that I really want to try. This is when more than one person is talking and the, the app will separate the, the, the conversation and also the chat. We can talk about our notes. What is this note about? Pretty cool. <laughs> As you can see, there's a heart here. If we go back to the folder, you can, let's use this one here. Click here to add a heart to this note and now you'll see it here. It's another filter that you can use. Let's take a look at the integrations. As you can see here, we have Notion, WhatsApp, Zapier, and even webhooks. If you are a tech savvy person, I think you'll like this one. I may need to record a video about this one, but everyone else can use Zapier. It works pretty well to automate things. Uh, we'll get to the WhatsApp integration in a moment. Notion works by creating uh, a note in your Notion and the notes you record here will be added to that note. If you click here, enable, there's the explanation here. You can duplicate a template, create this template on your Notion, and then you have to authenticate Notion and paste the URL of that template here. And from that point on, everything you record here, the transcriptions will be sent to Notion. There is a step-by-step -step in this video here that you can watch. As for WhatsApp, you can click here or here. And the first thing to do is add your phone number here to authenticate your phone number. And once you, you do that, every time you send an audio to this number, that audio will be added to your audio notes account. But there is more. I asked for it and the developer told me he will add an Evernote integration and I'm even helping him to make it as thoughtful as possible. So if you are an Evernote user, stay tuned. There's also a magic chat here. I don't have enough notes to try this, so stay tuned. I'll keep adding notes to the app and I'll talk about this in a future video. So let's take a look at the settings. To the left, you have some basic settings about uh, information about your account, but what I think is really interesting is this middle column here. We can select a transcription language, uh, an output language. I've been using the auto detect option. It's working pretty well, but you can 
choose one of the available languages. You can also choose uh, output style format. There are some options here. And now that we have a folder, you can select a default folder to store your notes. But take a look at this, explore more output styles. On top of this one here, check this. There are so many options here. Look at this, add to style, for example. And if we go back now, there it is. Finally, there is another feature that I'd like to share with you, the Chrome extension. If you are on a website and you want to record an idea, just click here and you see this little pop-up drawer. I don't know. You can just click here and start recording your notes. You'll find a link to download audio notes in the description below and stay tuned. I'll cover the features I didn't show you today and also the upcoming Evernote integration in a future video. Thanks for watching. See you soon.